In a recent interview, Finn Jones revealed the training regimen he underwent to prepare for Iron Fist, and it was pretty concise. I'm Sasha Pearl Raver, and this is Screen Junkies News. Speaking with Metro prior to the debut of Iron Fist, actor Finn Jones had a lot to say about his training for the role of Marvel's martial arts master, Iron Fist. Specifically this, quote, I was learning the fight scenes 15 minutes before we actually shot them because the schedule was so tight. So 15 minutes before, the stunt director would talk me through the choreography and I just jump straight into it. All right, with me to jump straight into it, we have Joe Starr and Max Song here to discuss this. Hi. Hello. Hi, guys. So, Joe, you just did a really great video for the channel where you talked about some of your favorite martial arts moments. Yes. So, I'm going to turn to you. Is this normal? I mean, it it depends. Uh, we talked a little bit before we sort of start, started shooting this video, and, you know, it, it depends on who's directing the movie, who's yeah. involved, you know, like a, a, a Samo or like a Donnie Yen could probably go, what are we doing? Like oh, 15 yeah. minutes yeah. before and then and, and jump in or, or a Daniel Wu. Uh, Keanu Reeves did like three months of boot camp where he learned choreography for John Wick. Chloe Moritz did two months for Kick-Ass to play Hit Girl. Yeah. Um, so length of time, you know, it varies, but for a guy with absolutely no training who is supposed to be the best of kung fu he has guy. trained his he whole is, life he, he, <laughs> that's what he weapon. says he's the living weapon yeah they did not uh, they didn't do him any favors with schedule you know with schedule and you know i'll take yeah. the guy at, his, at face yeah. value and say yeah they didn't give you the time they didn't well, do him any favors and i also wonder like if they're basically coming up with him to him 15 minutes before they start shooting how long before did the choreographers come up with the fights themselves were they like nah, this would be cool just kind of do that or was it that they were bringing down the effort level because he himself is not that talented as a martial artist i mean i feel like they kind of dumbed it down because most of the people that he fights seem very athletic mm -hmm. he with his shirt off which is a good portion of the time just looks very scrawny <laughs> like you know yeah. it, it looks like he has done yoga Oh, but not martial arts training like in a group like a Groupon amount of yoga. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he goes on Sundays every morning, and then he has a fro yo. That's about as much training that body looks like he had. That you know, that sounds great. That right <laughs> yeah. there sounds like so much workout. Workout. You can be the that Iron Fist awesome. too. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. that's incredible. Mm -hmm. But I think that there's so many other factors here that were pretty disappointing. And yeah. here's mm -hmm. another thing. There's another quote that he said. Quote, I had three weeks of very intense martial arts and weight training preparation. But then, unfortunately, once the show started, the filming schedule was just so tight. I was mm -hmm. working 14 hours every day, six days a week, days into nights, nights into days. And actually, my schedule didn't allow me to continue the training as much as I'd really hoped. So number one, have you guys ever heard of The Rock? Yes. Yeah. That He's my dude, hero. What time does the rock get up when he has to work out? He for doesn't actually sleep. That's yeah. a trick question, I think. Yeah. yeah he actually true. hangs upside down and just like holds his like pecs in his hands. Yeah, yeah like yeah, so like a bat. It's isometric. <laughs> so I, I, I will uh, uh, defend Finn Jones a little here because I've gone in on this guy pretty hard over the past, uh, I don't know, a couple of days since this show came out. You're hurt. You're but, not uh, mad. But look, we can't all be the rock. Sure. But when. When the purpose of your show is to go, here is the best at Kung Fu, and you don't give that actor the resources and time that he needs yeah. to look like he's the best at yeah. Kung Fu, especially, you know, with like the, the the white savior trope controversies and everything that were coming, I won't even call them controversies, people are just, it's a tired genre. Yeah. So if you're not gonna do that genre at this point, the very best you can, you, you've set this guy up for failure. Absolutely. Like I. I Kind of feel bad for him. Three in a way. weeks. Three weeks does not, to me, seem fair to him. It doesn't seem fair to the character. Oh, absolutely not. Max, what do you think? I mean, the fact is that the reason that like Hong Kong films have done so well is like these guys are performing acrobats. You know, mm -hmm. there's a physicality to it that very clearly, if you think kung fu, you're like, oh yeah, you need to be physical, and this has none of that. Like the fact that someone saw that and was like. 
eh, I guess that's good. That should have been a red flag right yeah, then and there. That's not acceptable. I mean, it just makes no sense that they could have such good fight choreography between all of basically the other franchise. Jessica Jones has better fight scenes than Iron Fist does. Yeah. And I understand what their concept is going for. You can kind of see it. You know, his whole mm -hmm. thing is supposed to be like, you know, going with the flow. That's why he doesn't necessarily, you know, do crazy punches and high kicks and isn't showy. And I don't mind that. But there's tons of other great Hong Kong films out there, like with Donnie Yen, with Jackie Chan, with Jet Li, that has that concept already embroiled into it. And it just feels like you have so much reference material, you have looked at none of it. Yeah. Yeah. Zero yeah. of it does. It, I mean, they have the Hatchet Men, which is kind of like a Kung Fu hustle reference. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too. Which is like, oh, that's great. But what about the actual Kung Fu portion of it? Yeah. It's Especially just, if you have Riz on board, who's such a huge fan, don't you, you know, have that guy go, you could reference this fight. Yeah. You could reference this fight. Because, like, Hong Kong cinema riffs on itself. Oh, that, that's one of the fun that things about awesome. it. Yeah. And, you, you know, that, that could have been an easy. Uh, idiot's guide for filming Iron yeah. Fist. Like, I mean, this, fight, also, this fight and this fight, in. RZA, RZA made Man with the Iron Fist, which I feel like is a better Iron Fist movie than Iron Fist is. Like, I, I genuinely mean that. Like, you see in his movie, even if it's not perfect, you see the passion of, like, his influences mm -hmm. yeah, in every totally. bit of it, you totally. know? And it makes, like, this really cool cinematic masterpiece for someone that really loves that genre. And Iron Fist... Is just sort of like we need a we need and we need an Iron Fist. We need this character because otherwise the defenders won't be a thing. It's on well, the schedule. Yeah, and that's the scariest part. I mean, when you got three weeks of prep time and he was only rehearsing two and a half hours a day, which for normal people two and a half hours is a lot to be working out. But there are actors who literally like if you even listen to like Jessica Biel and Ryan Reynolds talk about training for Blade Three, yeah. mm -hmm. they would be in training for like eight hours a day. So how much of this do you think was them just trying to rush through? because they wanted the defenders to come up next on the schedule and they have dates to hit. I mean, it's it's a rush job. You know, it's I, definitely I, I won't keep job. trying to defend Finn too much because he's been putting his foot in his mouth a lot and doesn't need too much defending. But, th I mean, this was a rush job for Marvel. Uh, they they had to get this one through. They didn't get it right. I think the, the wrong people... Uh, were were attached to this show, and I, I think it showed from scene to scene. Oh yeah, and also it's a it's a very old premise, and it just it feels like this this bad timing snafu really at mm. the end of the day because like Iron Fist came at the wrong time. This is sort of the it pinnacle did. of of you know this white savior whitewashing controversy. You know, like yeah. since Ghost in the Shell or whatever came out and kind of started this whole ball rolling. It just now that that's coming out in literally like two weeks mm -hmm. and this has come out it's hard to be like oh you guys don't have a point you know like I, it's just a part of the industry yeah. like Absolutely. no this is a very this is a problem that has to do with laziness and has to do with just uh Bland creativity. Yeah, you know, this and if is you're like gonna the bottom execute, of the barrel. If yeah. you're gonna execute a lazy trope, at least execute the hell out of it. Yeah, and they weren't able, and they didn't give him the time to do that. No, yeah, it's I, I don't I don't even want to say it's uh, Finn Jones's fault at all either because it's like to a certain extent, you know, do you feel like he could have done better? Well, like even on. in his his. The, his acting, I feel like, is also kind of subpar sure. in general. Well, I mean, here's another thing. Let's go back to that Keanu Reeves video. Would you throw that back up, Jonathan? Here's the thing. This is him practicing for John Wick. Now, granted, he's had a lot of martial arts training. He's had a lot of gun training. This is even a throwback to Point Break. But here's the thing about Keanu. If Keanu couldn't do that part, you know what he wouldn't have done? Taken the job. No. So for Finn Jones to walk in and be like, yes, I'll be the white savior. Yes, I'm cool with three weeks when I have no martial arts training. Mm -hmm. And for Marvel to sort of shore that up and go, okay, we'll shoot around it, yeah. is to me, there are so many mistakes already at play. Yeah, you as an actor need to know I am not capable of that. We have talked, my boyfriend and yours, Joe Star, Louis Tan. That guy could have walked in and been like, three weeks? I've been doing this my whole life. Yeah. Got you, dog. Which is why he's been the standout. Yeah. Uh, I can do 15 uh, of minutes show. of fight choreography. You can tell me what I'm going to do. I'll go in and I'll crush it. I have the shorthand. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But for Finn Jones to have taken on the role, I feel like he is culpable. And that's why we can talk about the mistakes that he <laughs> well, made. Because absolutely. he shouldn't have taken the part. I mean, but that and the fact that, like, it doesn't even really seem like he's tried that hard. I mean, I don't know. I can't say what his schedule's like. I'm sure he has a very hectic life. 
you know, he probably has a lot of interviews and view, whatever. You think Sir Loris is like just just so suave? Just Who knows? Just He's probably it. helping kids in Africa. Who don't quote me on it? <laughs> I don't actually know this as a fact. I'm sure he has a busy schedule, but at the at the same time, like like once again, Keanu for John Wick, he does his own drive training. He literally learned how to stunt drive to do those shots. Oh yeah, yeah. You we know what just I mean? did a video this morning about Tom Cruise spending a year, a year to prepare for one sequence in Mission Impossible. And yes, we were talking about films versus television. Mm -hmm. However, Netflix is a company that put $330 million into their television last year. Yeah. They have the resources, they have the budget, they can give the time, they can let you have whatever schedule yeah. you want yeah let your people do their jobs and yeah. they've done such a good job Up i don't understand now. it just makes no sense to drop the ball so hard on this i wouldn't even mind if it was like a mediocre experience but it's just a thoroughly bad experience from the beginning to basically the end and i'm just it it's incredible that they have this this idea of like we want to keep this as grounded as possible, you know? And yet you're giving me this ridiculous premise and not even trying to play it up as a ridiculous premise. We are not stupid. We understand that Iron Fist is a white dude from Tibet that fought a dragon and got dragon powers. It's ridiculous. Oh. Go it's with so it. It's so dumb. And his fist <laughs> go with it. His fist's only power is that it gets really, really hard. Like, you know, like <laughs> just if you're gonna do lean that, in. He should be like, he should literally be smashing people through walls. He yeah. should be doing some Luke Cage stuff. Oh, oh I awesome. just dropped oh, this water. Sorry, okay. guys. You really iron fisted that water. He iron fisted that water. water. Out of the existence. Water my bad. Good. I like that kind of passion. Yeah, All right. Sorry. So here's my question to you, Max. Rizza versus Finn Jones. Who wins? Uh, Rizza. Oh, Finn's Rizza. Dad. Yeah. Can you get it? Yeah. All right. Star. Who wins? Rizza. Hold on. Rizza. Donnie Yen. Versus your boyfriend, Louis, 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 Dan. I mean, Yen, probably. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Yen, yeah. Means everything. Yen, Yen. Yeah. Think about Donnie Yen. He's, okay, he's an Jackie old school Chan, singer. Donnie Yen. Well, Donnie Yen now, but Jackie back, Chan back heyday, in the day. heyday. And Donnie Yen in his heyday. Hard to tell. Yeah. Hard to wow. Tell. All I'd, right. I'd watch that weird movie, though. I would totally watch no, that movie. Definitely. I would watch that before I'd watch Iron Fist. All right, guys. We want to know what you think. Let us know in the comments below. You can tweet us at SJ News. Was it fair that they gave him such a short schedule? Is there somebody you would have rather seen? You can always click here for more internets, and we will see you again very soon.